All right, guys, ZFR back, and that's right, the Walking Dead Season 8 trailer dropped today, so I'm going to be pretty much just breaking down the trailer and some of the stuff I noticed within it in this video, some of the iconic stuff that we're going to get to see this season. This is pretty much just going to be a full breakdown, but before I get into that, for anybody who's worried about spoilers, don't worry. I will not talk about spoilers until the very end. I will not talk about um, the spoilers that you can probably kind of predict from what you see in the trailer and stuff like that that is from the comics. I'm going to talk about all that at the end. And I'm going to give everybody a warning before I start doing that. So if you're worried about spoilers, don't worry. For the first part of this video, we're just going to be going straight through what we see in the trailer. So the trailer starts off with Negan asking Father Gabriel if he has his sit pants on and pretty much but um just a another great Negan moment. But pretty much this scene is interesting because it reveals that Negan is going to capture Father Gabriel at some point during this season. Which is weird because this is a scene from the comics kind of but in this pretty much the thing that's weird about this, they pretty much did this with Sasa already so it's kind of like are they going to remix this in a way because really this should have been Sasa scene when you think about if she was following the same path from the comics but it looks like they're remixing this also and they're still going to go with they're still going to do the exact same thing they did in the comics to attack the sanctuary which we're going to talk about um later on which is why father gabriel's there this is a result of them attacking the sanctuary from my prediction so yeah that that's um the first thing i noticed in this trailer then we get a lot of awesome um just thoughts of all the characters we get to see rick with this awesome uh, like he's standing in front of the sun and the saw and like it's just an awesome sort of rick um we get to see we get to see Maggie, we get to see Carol, and, um, freak, how did I forget her name? Tara. <laughs> she's like, what? She's like the character I want to see most last season. We get a saw of Carol, Carol and Tara. Tara's eating, you know, some candy and stuff. <laughs> um, pretty funny scene there. And then we, um, get shots of Morgan, um, Carl, pretty much just everybody. Like, they just go through everybody. Masone and, um, Rosita, Aaron, pretty much everybody gets um sewn off in this trailer. Not like last year's where we didn't see most of the main cast in the trailer. Um, so yeah, there's like right away they're hyping up everything, getting ready for war. They're hyping up all of our characters, kind of gathering supplies, gathering their forces, setting up looks what looks like ambushes and stuff. Um, and all of that just like getting together and getting ready to fight the savior so right away right off the bat it, you can it's safe to say this is probably going to be the most action-packed first half of a season to the walking dead especially since something that happens at the end of the trailer which we're going to talk about because that's big so we're going to um talk about that a little bit later but yeah so far they're hinting towards this season having a love action like you can expect the beginning of this season to be really fast paced compared to last season so yeah that's exciting um pretty much we get to see just a ton of different characters in this trailer that's most of what the trailer is we do get to see some interesting stuff like it looks like Enid's going to be playing more of a role we get to see her a couple times wearing some armor and stuff throughout the trailer we also see um Aaron a couple times in this trailer and Aaron just expect expect them to start building Aaron's character up for the simple reason he's most likely going to be a bigger character in the future if they fall along with um what the comics is doing so just be prepared for him to um kind of get a decent amount of screen time this season kind of like he was like at last season but maybe a little bit more this time um and also we we also get to see um the white in this he's opening a letter which is probably some kind of note from the survivors from rick and their group and stuff and a lot of people are confused were or were confused about which side the white was really on at the end of season 
seven like because you know when when Negan was getting ready to kill Carl and stuff, some people were like, why wasn't the white doing anything or whatever? And pretty much he couldn't. <laughs> like, I mean, what was he going to do? Fight all the saviors alone? Um, but, yeah, pretty much um, towards... Throughout this season, we're going to see the white um, is really on the survivor side. He's going to help them a lot more. He's going to be kind of an inside man. And we get to see a lot of really cool scenes. Like, for instance, we see a lot of the kingdom in this um, one, too. We see a decent amount of them. And we do get to see one scene where Ezekiel's in the forest surrounded by his dudes. And pretty much this is going to be a big scene this is going this is a really iconic um part of the comic so comic book fans probably know everything that's going to go down here like a lot is going to go down in whatever episode this is so be excited about this um because if you didn't like the kingdom before this is going to be their moment to sign and just like th this is going to be the probably one of their more memorable moments um that we get to see the kingdom in so just be prepared for that um some other stuff is going on. We got to see Siva a little bit in um, this video. So we don't, we didn't get to see her a ton. Well, just enough to, you know, get us hyped and stuff, of course, for the tiger. Um, we also get to see what looks like um, the survivors, including, like, it almost looks like the sanctuary for a second. But, nah, it's actually, it actually looks like some kind of hospital or something. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's an outpost. Don't forget that the survivors are going to have to attack pretty much all of the savior's outposts which they have a lot of before they even think about hitting the sanctuary and speaking of wits we do see them attacking the sanctuary in this trailer we also get to see them preparing for the attack and gathering what they want for the attack and i'm going to talk about this more in a second but i'm not going to talk about right now because of spoilers um and then later on the trailer one little touch i did like we did get to see carol she was firing a shotgun but if you look behind her a nice little touch they threw in there you get to see ben's little brother he's holding a staff and stuff so that's just an awesome little hint that they that um he wants to be like his big brother that's kind of a nice tribute in a way to ben and later on the trailer we do see get to see like this door or whatever it like they're in this dark area and there's a bunch of holes in a door looks like and you get to see it looks like somebody sitting in the dark naked and i couldn't tell who this was at it kind of looks like Daryl. At first, I thought it was Maggie, but I went back and watched it. it looks like Daryl. So, it almost looks like when he was um, captured by the Savior. So, that's going to be pretty interesting. But I just couldn't figure out if that was him for sure and what was going on in that scene. I can't think of anything from the comics that might ring a bell. So, we'll have to wait and see for that. I'm kind of interested to see. But it looks like whoever that is, it looks like... Masson finds them later because it looks like she ends up in that same place. But anyway, moving on to the biggest part of this trailer is that very last saw of Rick waking up. And some people, anybody who hasn't read the comics, just be warned, this may be kind of spoilery, but at the same time, not really. All right, like... I'm not going to say anything that counts as exact spoilers, but it will kind of give you an idea of what's going to happen in the structure of this season. So, pretty much this is the beginning of the next story arc. So, this is really interesting that we're seeing this in this trailer because that means they've already filmed this for this half. So, pretty much what that means is All Out War is going to end before the mid-season premiere which a lot of fans aren't going to be happy about but that's that pretty much is what this means this is straight from the comic books any comic fan will know what this is from this is well after all out war takes place so yeah this is ooh, this is going to really set some people off some people are going to be excited but for anybody who's upset about all-out war ending that fast 
just think of it like this that means they have at least somewhere between seven or possibly eight depending on how they decide to throw this and this could be the very last scene of the season um but depending on how they throw this well not the season the mid-season but depending on how they do all out war this just means that this could just mean that all Out War is going to be the first seven e episodes, like, non-stop acts. And so, be excited about that. All right, but, yeah, overall, a lot of people probably aren't going to like that they're doing this so early. But, like I said before, it always was a possibility. Everyone knew, everyone who knew about this knew that it was a possibility. But it does mean that Season 9, we are going to be getting to see some even more crazy stuff so overall yeah i'm i i'm kind of excited like i'm excited to see this happen early i'm excited to get into the stuff that comes after this so yeah as long as the show is paced well this season because last season a lot of people thought was too slow at certain parts and the pacing was all over the place the only thing to worry about now is it being paced way too fast in the first seven episodes but if they do this right if they throw in some of those um extra 30 minute episodes in there they could pull this off so as long as they do is right we could still get everything we want from all out war but i think a lot of people are overall gonna be disappointed that all out war is ending so quickly like it's literally like this has to be the mid-season finale this has to be it like so all out war is definitely ending before then so Pretty much that is the biggest part of this trailer, but also one more thing I didn't mention until now, and this kind of gets into spoilers, so if you want to um, jump out now, I'm going to um, kind of talk about stuff that happens in the comics that looks like it's happening in this trailer. So, number one, wait, before I do, there's your three second war warning, you've been warned. So, number one, Ezekiel and that's one scene where um they're all in the forest and he's surrounded by his dudes that looks like the um big um ambush with the saviors where the saviors actually ambush them and you can actually see the ambush part in the trailer you can see a couple of um the hit the not the hilltop the um freak freak I forgot their name the kingdom's people getting sought down and gunned down by the saviors turrets and stuff so it's going to be that, and of course, that means Siva is probably going to die in this first half, which a lot of comic fans probably expect it. You actually can see what looks like it's going to be her last scene in the trailer. So, yeah, there's that. And then, moving on, um, you can also notice throughout the trailer that these scenes with Daryl, like, suiting the explosives and carol and tara on the bridge and all of this different stuff and jerry and ezekiel in front of the sanctuary and all that you can kind of see that all of that's connected to the same episode it looks like it looks like it's going to be when the same thing from in the comics where rick and the others lead a bunch of walkers to the sanctuary like a giant herd and pretty much break down the gate so they can get through and that's going to be interesting which is probably why father gabriel got um captured he's probably the one that drove the car through the gates and like i said that was um originally supposed to go to whoever was in Sasa Sue's, but I guess they changed that because you know Sasa already um kind of had that part of the story at the end of last season, which is something they took out of the middle of All Out War. So in a way, All Out War, we already got it in last season. We got the first part of All Out War in last season, so we're technically not losing any of the war. So, um yeah this is pretty interesting i'm interested to see how people are going to react to season to all out war ending so quickly in this season and a new beginning um being the second half of the season because that's what it looks like is going to happen so yeah i'm going to talk about this more in a different video just so i can go more in depth on it and just give some of my predictions and stuff and we're just going to talk about the walking dead a lot 
these next few weeks so just be prepared for that but anyway guys hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave likes and comments down below tell me what you want to see next and what you're excited for all that kind of stuff and hit the subscribe button if you like this video or if it was helpful to you so anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one